Okay, this is the um, kind of review for the inner solving inequalities. If you're a remote learner, you'll be doing a quizzes activity. If you're an in-class student, you'll be doing this on paper. So anytime you're trying to solve an inequality, the first step is solve it either by graphing or by using nSolve. Um, you would just replace your less than sign or greater than sign with the equal sign. So if we're doing nSolve, you do menu 3, 1, and then 4x minus 7 equals negative 19. And then you have to tell the calculator, comma, I am solving for x. That will get you your number. Now to figure out whether or not you have, if it's going to be a greater than sign or a less than sign as your answer, you have to teach the calculator to recognize zero as x. <coughs> um, because we're going to use that as um, our final example. So we're going to push zero, control, and var. Control is this blue button and var is right above the number nine. And then we type in x, enter. And now we're going to type in the original equation that they gave us just to find out if it's a true or false statement. To get the greater than sign, you push control equals, pick the greater than, and then negative 19. Since you've told x to be 0, it's going to fill in 0, and then it's going to either tell us a true or a false statement. If it's true, then you keep the sign you have. If it's false, you flip the sign the other direction, but you do not change whether or not it's a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to based on that. Whatever it is, that's what it stays. So in this case, we're going to have negative three as our number, which we already knew because that was on all three of them. And because it says true, we're gonna have greater than the same sign and that therefore for number one, you would do yellow. So again, those steps are Use nSolve to find your number, set x to be 0 by saying 0, control var, x, <coughs> and then type in your equation um, to find out if it's true or false. If it's true, keep the sign. If it's false, flip the sign.